going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing good on this Sunday. Go back to work tomorrow. Be off uh, work a couple weeks. Then be off again for Christmas a couple weeks. That's why I enjoy my job so much. Got a lot of off time. But anyhow, uh, this is for, uh, well, first of all, I want to show you guys, I want to show you guys what, uh, I got a big surprise today. Um, I had things to do. Get stuff down around the house. It's pretty chilly out here in uh, Texas, y'all. Texas, y'all. <laughs> Anyhow, um, got up this morning a little late. Uh, late, real late for me. Nine o'clock is really, really late. But anyhow, I gotta start getting back up at three thirty. Starting this week, and then uh, the probably I don't know what situation is going to be when I get back to work. A lot of people usually quit after Thanksgiving and and around the holidays. But anyway, it was hey man, I just want to show you guys. I got a big surprise today. Uh, why I said, come on, let's go. So I said, where where are we going? So I was like, well, we got to make a couple stops. First, she said we got to go to the baby shower. I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to go to no baby shower. But I was like, okay, I'll go. She goes, trust me, you're going to want to go. So I'm like, okay, I guess I can take you. So we loaded up, took off. It was one of them drive-by baby showers, kind of like them doing them drive-by birthday parties and stuff. But anyway... And she said, and she said after that, we got to go to Home Depot. I'm like, what? So what are you talking about, woman? I said, you don't even like Home Depot or Lowe's and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I said, okay, I, I just, she goes, just trust me. You're just, we're going to go to Home Depot. Then we get out. I'm looking at her. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking the whole time, man. What, what the hell's on her? What's going on, man? I was, I was like. Something, something sure smells fishy around here, man. But I said, just, uh, a lot of you guys know I use Echo equipment. I like Echo. I've used steel before, but I just like Echo. That's just my preference. Kind of like, I like Ford. And I do like Chevy, but that'd be my second option. Dodge would be my third. But anyway, nothing against you guys, Chevy owners or Dodge owners, man. I I get it, man. Don't worry. Everybody got what they like. You like pumpkin pie? I like pumpkin pie. You like pecan pie? You don't like pecan pie. Pumpkin pie, whatever. But anyway, uh, we got the Home Depot, and I always like to park at the back, you know, further away from the from the from the front of the store because people bang up your cars and they bang up, they leave their buggies out and their carts out. I bark. Anyway, I, we parked way back there, and my wife knows it. Um, uh, anyway, we go inside, and she looks at me, and she goes, where are the weed eaters at? And I'm like, what? Weed eaters? She goes, yeah, where are the weed eaters at? I'm like, well, I know where everything's at Home Depot, and I know where everything's at Lowe's, and I know where everything is at Home Harbor Freight, all right? But anyway, she goes, let's go look at the weed eaters. I'm like, okay. And, I'm, and I really started getting suspicious. And I'm like, well, they're right over here. So we went to the one in Wiley, which is about 10, 12 miles away. And they got another one further down Highway 78 in, Fire, in Garland, which is called Skittered Firewheel. But anyway, we got to the one at Home, Deep, uh, Home Depot in Wiley. And... Uh, 
She goes, she said, okay, let's go look at the weed eaters and stuff and the blowers and all that. She goes, where's all that stuff at? Because she knows what kind of equipment I like. She does pay attention to the equipment that I like, uh, which is a surprise me. But anyway, so we went over there to get the weed eaters. She goes, which one do you want? I'm like, what? She goes, well, I'm going to buy you another weed eater. So you have backup. I'm like, what? I said, you've been listening to me all this time? I've been talking to her about, you know, you got to have backup, you know, lawnmower backup, weed eater backup, blower, whatnot. So I guess you've been listening to me. Anyway, long story short, man, I looked for the weed eater that I wanted, the one that I like to use, 220 bucks and then 35 bucks for the for the two-year warranty. And uh, they didn't have it. I'm like, God, dog, they ain't got it here. So I told the girl, I said, can you look on your little computer there and see if you got that this weed eater, man, the one I like to use, the one I've always used. So uh, they looked it up. They said they, did, they showed they had six, man, but they couldn't find them. So she called the one in Garland and said they had they had seven available on the shelf ready to ready to purchase i'm like oh, okay let's go to so i told my wife i said well we can go to garland it's just 10 more miles down the road 10 minutes she goes yeah let's go so i'm like okay cool let's go and but at the same time i'm thinking what is she up to is she want to show me some or she want to buy me some i didn't know man i was confused man i was really i was like scratching my head and what not but anyhow man we got over there I, she goes well where are the weed eaters at and we walked straight over there to the weed eaters and the all the power equipment well anyway guys she goes get get what you want and uh so i picked out the one i wanted i could have got the 300 dollar one or 350 dollar one or whatever but i'm the top man i've been using this equipment a long time and i know what it can do i know how long it'll last because i take care of my stuff so I got the $219 one with the, uh, and I got the $35 uh, extended warranty, two years. So I'm going to show you guys what my wife bought me today. She bought me this weed eater. If you can see it, SRM225, which I don't give a crap about the specs, man. As long as it does the job and does what, I, does what I want it to do, it's good, man. It's comfortable. I like it. Hold on, man. You can see this shit. You can see it. Yeah, there you go. Anyhow, this is it, man. Let me get this sucker off here. It's dark in my garage. And, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Man, you can't see it. That's it, man. Brand spanking new. Straight shaft. The one I like a lot. Oh. And it's even and it and it's even got a speed feed head on it. Which I didn't know that, man. I looked at it and I said, man, it's got a speed feed. Which it shows right there. I've been wanting to get one of these. One of these speed feeds. For the long, for a while, man, I was gonna buy my other weed eater. But anyhow, she bought me a new weed eater, man. I'm thankful for that. I don't know if you guys got a good look at it, man. Let me see. There it is, right there. Brand spanking new. Look at that bulbs. Even the uh, haven't cranked it. <coughs> I haven't cranked it, man, but the only, the only catch is... Ugh. Somebody pulling up outside, man. Neighbor just got home. But anyway, uh, the only catch is I can't I can't have it until Christmas Day. I got to put it. She wants to put a ball on it, put it under the tree. I'll, 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 I'll show you guys a little picture. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll put a picture. On, I'll put it on Instagram. Y'all can follow me on Instagram. Jesse Chicano Pena Gorilla Fitness Lawn Care Slash Whatever. Just look for me. Just look for a big old gorilla. Anyway, I'm real happy, man. I'm real thankful, man. I didn't. I had no idea she was gonna do that for me today. And the reason I got that one, man, is because I like it. 
I like the way it handles. It's just got it's got just enough power for what I do. In maybe six months or another year, whatever, I will get me a little bit bigger one with a bit more power. I'll get a commercial one, but these are doing great, man. I've had this one, same thing. This is a uh, weed eater here is three years old, and it still works good, man. I change the plugs, run good gas in it, uh, change the filters in them. I'm, I just take care of them. But anyway, I was real happy, man. I'm real blessed to. Cause she bought me that, man. I was like, dang, man, that's pretty cool, dude. But she even pays attention to what I, the things that I like, the things I like to do. I guess because she likes all that big bucks I bring home. Uh, anyway, nah, just kidding. But anyway, uh, want to touch on something else, man, real quick. If you guys see this right here, you can see. See that? And this right here. Well, the last cleanup I did was on Saturday. No, Friday. And uh, ran over this ran over this thing right here. I don't know what it is. It's got, it's got something to do with some kind of gun that you nail with the floor or something. I don't know. Somebody can probably put in the comments what it is. But it was funny, man, because I ran over this thing and it started making, it started like, sound like gunshots in the, under, underneath my big lawnmower. And then I seen that knife, man. I just happened to see that knife. And I'm thinking, guys, you gotta really, really, really place close attention to what's in these yards, man, especially if they're cleanups. Pay attention. I mean, if I would, if God forbid, that knife would have shot out and into my leg or into somebody else or something else, man. You got to be careful. I was like, damn, man, that shit's crazy, man. But anyway, I want to leave you with this, guys. Strive for perfection. Strive for excellence. Do your best. Give 100%. Always try to keep yourself five or six steps ahead of yourself okay I can't I can't express enough man how I see people and hear people so downtrodden they they're, they're, they sound so defeated and the people I talk to man I was like man don't let your days uh, uh, what do you call it don't let don't let the day a bad day make it make it be a you know be a don't let the outcome be a bad day you know, you, you gotta, you know, you gotta be, uh, what do you call it? Man, I always had the words to say, and I, and I, I forget them. Basically, man, I don't care, man. Whatever I'm, whatever I'm, what, basically what I'm saying is, strive for excellence, okay? No matter how things look, no matter what people say, hang around people, they're gonna pick you up, lift you up motivate you to go and get you know hang around people they're gonna you know boost your confidence and uh stay away from all the negative stuff man i don't even i don't even pay attention to negative people man i'm basically i'm like a duck too man people say stuff about me or whatever they got negative stuff i mean it just rolls right off my back dude i don't care about that crap i don't have time for that i don't listen i don't listen to all the naysayers man i just do what i gotta do take care of my business and i'm done man but man, just remember one thing. Seek God and everything else will fall into place, okay? Some of you out there probably don't like the word God, but I don't care. I'm going to say it. Everything else will, everything else will fall into place. But I'm going to leave everybody on this note, man. I'm, I'm very thankful my wife got me that. She didn't have to do it. I told her I was going to pay her back. I told her I'd give her the money for it. She said no. She insisted it was a gift. I'm like, okay. No baby, I'll take I'll take the gift, you know, baby. But anyway, I'm real blessed to have her as my wife, and I'm real thankful that she pays attention to whatever I to all the things that I tell her, all the little details that I tell her, man. But anyway, do good, do something good for somebody, man. If you feel in your heart and in your gut that you need to do something for somebody, do it, man. 
Because there's people, and there's always somebody going. There's always somebody going through a lot worse than what we're going through. But anyway, I've said enough. I didn't want to go over 15 minutes on this video. Uh, hey, y'all, everybody have a blessed week. Keep your focus. Don't let things around you distract you. Keep your health, keep keep yourself straight on a, on a straight. Anyway, everybody be blessed. I'm a. This is the gorilla, and I'm out. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed week.